Yeah, we got him. Welcome everybody to Matchstick Melee. It's Monday night. It's time for a little bit of Street Fighter V action. Uh, currently on my own, but that should not diminish your enjoyment as we have a bunch of banger matches coming up at you in just one second. Let's see. First, we are going to bring in... I'm not sure if I have X151X. 50, but, uh, yeah, first up, Kaiba Sika Saturn versus 151... Let's see. You in there? You're not in there. CFN and Discord are the same. Sick. Thank you. Get this guy in here. Get him added into our favorites. As is the custom of the time. Kind of a Sega Saturn already ready to go. Yeah. All right. Favorite. Oh, nope. Ha, <laughs> you almost had me. You almost caught me. You almost caught the tater. So we are ready to go. What's up, underscore? I see you, buddy. That's bam. That one's gonna be next. Bam. That one's gonna be after that. Bam. That one's gonna be bam. Right. Oh no, timestamps. All right, so I got a good feeling about Kaiba Sega Saturn. It's probably going to whip out that Nash. No idea what to expect from 151, though. Have not seen this gentleman in quite some time. I guess I got more time to type than I thought I would. Hey, there we go. Yo, Zangif. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. Stand in my way. I will kill you. My iron body is invincible. So beware. Round one. Fight. All right, so we got a Sonic Barrage to start things off with. Oh, one trying to get the headbutt timing down. Very nice, very nice. Oh, coming up a little shy on that. Nice. V-Skill 2 gets in for the SPD. Ba-boom! Oh, all right. Moonsault keeping the man down. Yo, this is the Iron Patriot, though. I mean, it's not necessarily the right country, but... <laughs> Nice, good activation. EXSPD. Yeah, super big damage. Ooh. Kaiba kind of looking like he didn't know what to do there. He got scared of that damage. Ooh, nice. There we go, up and over. Oh, look at Kaiba. Ah, nice catch, though. All right, so we got Sonic Scythe to start things off with. It's a pretty good anti-air. Whoa, Kaiba went in during the Lariat. What's up with that? You ought to know better. Ooh. Nice. Good use of the armor there on the V-Skill 2. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. 
Ah, there we go. Kaiba's playing Nash to uh, probably the best of his ability, just using those long limbs. All the good keep out moves. Ooh. I think 151 tried to go in there. Uh, it's still not safe enough to dash in on block. There you go. Good idea. Disperse. Oh, that did. Oh, that's right. Chip damage. Ha <laughs> ha. That was actually pretty smart on Kaiba's part. Nash wins. Gem two six two in the chat says that's a that's a Power Ranger. Nah, dog. That's a Megazord. <laughs> Geef is nothing, he, he's at the very least an add-on to the Megazord. He's like the piece that forms the head. Alright, oh! Kaiba thinks he's got uh, 151's number here and he may be right. Nice grab! All right, get him in the loop. Oh, took him out of the air. Getting a lot of these moonsaults off on him too. Oh, he did not nail the transition. He could have had some big damage off this uh, V-Trigger. Oh, knee bazooka to catch him out of the air. Kaiba Sega Saturn. Thinking with his whole brain tonight. Ooh. I have to imagine that 151 like let go of the button at a, just the wrong moment. There's a throw, of course. Be skill two, not throw, invulnerable. That would be weird. Yep. Ex Sonic Scythe, good anti-air. Oof. 151 just kind of struggling to find any room to get in. Yep. Hey, he's working on building up that meter too. Kaiba being very, very patient. If he hits uh, critical art, he'll do it again. And sometimes you can just get hit. Kaiba Sega Saturn taking that first game two to zero. Sega Saturn with the two. Good luck in lower bracket, 151. Uh, looks like you're already round two, so that's pretty good for you. Next up, we are going to have Cruel Onraj versus Ave. On Raj. Art the Ave, where are you, buddy? Ave. Did I miss him? I don't think I did. No. You were in a casual? Okay. <laughs> Okay, reset your game. There he is! Alright, so Cruel Onraj, master of the, uh, the Kage. Oh, I see. I see how it is. Trying to kick, kick me to the back. I was gonna go with my own, own volition. And, uh, of course, we got Claw on the other side. Now, 
Anraj has been facing a lot of claws because for whatever reason, we have a lot of claws in our local meta. If you can call it the local meta. But, um... Yeah, uh, let's see how Art's approach to the matchup might, uh, change things. Never thought in my life I would get so much practice writing the, the word cruel. There we go, just a couple of shirtless boys on a Monday night settling their hash in a in a square tile arena. <laughs> Round one. Let's go. Alright, opening with like look to be a light punch shockinets. Just enough to kind of disrupt uh Ave's. By the way, Ave using the, the classic costume. Very nice, very nice. Okay, sorry, back to the action. Had to look away for a second. Good break. Looks like Abe's actually kind of winning the life war right now. Ah, oh, you can't... See, here's the thing. I know Claw lives in the air. That's a given. But it's just not that great of an idea to jump in on Cruel Anraj. Like, this man... This man is primed for anti-air. So every given moment, oh my god, look at that little bit of life. Ooh! Nah, he's safe though. That was good clearance. Alright, EX Sky High Claw. Yo, the meteor drop! Oh, and he set him up for the. Ah! What a come from behind, cruel Anraj. Looked like he was going down the first round, but he's not even gonna give uh, Ave that level. <laughs> Oof! All right, but we're in a new round now. Got shocking nets, anti-air again. Like I'm saying, man, like unless you can guarantee it, don't just random jump in on Cruel on Raj. Bam! There's a good crush counter. That's how you do it, deadbeats. Oh. No, no, no. Excellent defense there. Ave back to the corner, but he's doing almost everything he can, except uh, he threw out that whiff, and it's going to get punished. Good throw escape. All right, using V-Trigger to get clear. We're back to mid-screen. Blocks high on the meteor drop. Very nice, very nice. Oh, he tried to whiff punish that. All right, back throw. Pressure on Cruel Raj. No... Ave's being very cautious. I don't know what he thinks he's gonna do from that distance. If he's gonna if he's gonna critical art art up through the fireball. Ooh! Nice! Bro, that was that was definitely a Sage Am like will it kill moment. <laughs> oh, barely got out of that. Took a light hit from there. Okay, not bad. Spinning crush counter into the slide. Oh, good bait. Woo! Abe swinging for the fences right now. All right, just got to watch out here. Oh, ho, ho. Anraj. Seeing six parallel universes ahead. Had the meteor strike queued up to counter the uh, the wall dive. Oh. Ave blocks high. Gets a jab and wins an air to air to get first game. I gotta say I'm impressed. Ave laying down some solid tactics. Taking the first game off of uh, Cruel Anraj. 
who is definitely not a player that uh, you can sleep on. Round one. Fight. This is some growth. This is what you like to see. That's two crush counters like right at the start. There might also be some CFN uh, sh Shinooligans happening in there. Oh! Ave took the bait, got counter hit for it, but it's not that big. There's a trade. Of course, Claw's got pretty crap anti-airs. And Cruel Anraj starting to live up to his name here. There's the stun. What's he got for him? Tell him what he's won! <laughs> It's a trip to the hospital. Alright. Big throw. Nice sweep on wake up. Alright. Ave not done yet. Nice. Good with punish. All right, Anraj with the Tatsu combo to the corner. Got a light DP off in there. Back into the grinder. Oh, and there's the stun. Bam, bam. All right, Anraj. Anraj has uh, revealed his final form, it would look like. Ave waking him up a little earlier than predicted. All right, back into the game. Game three, everybody. This is where Ave can really show it off. Can really show off what he's doing. Oh, he can't get spooked though. Can't get scared. Oh, he went for the anti-air, but it was too slow. Kage just does not spend enough time up there. Oh, tried to throw as a reaction to a jump in. Art definitely eating a full combo on that one. Good on Art. Not getting fooled. Stayed in block the entire time. Let that uh, dive kick hit real low. Now he gets the opportunity to counter. There's the crush counter he was looking for. Woo! Keeping it going. Oh, he was just shy of getting the stun. Still a little bit shy. He's trying. Oh, he's trying. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Ah, Andrage with the counter. There went the claw. So there goes uh, Art's range advantage and he's got one no he doesn't even have the chance on wake up oh my goodness the meteor drop oh nice grab took him out of the fireball and everything oh Anraj punishing Art on the uh, the claw swap frames. There's the stun. Things aren't looking too good for Ave. All right. Yep. Time to get in motion. Time to get in motion. Oh! Anraj not fooled. Not letting him get away. Nice back throw, though. Oh! All right. Double up. London Bridge. There's the claw. I thought it was broken. All right. Both of them are just fishing. Only thing is, Anraj, I think, only needs one stray, like, fierce or roundhouse to get the job done. Ooh. Stayed same side. Interesting. All right. Trying to keep that pressure on. A with one last bar meter. Oh. <gasps> he didn't get tagged, but he did get thrown. Oh, man. Very narrow hitbox on that meteor drop. Cruel Anraj going to take game three and takes the set two to one. That was still quality work from both sides. All 
All right. But yes, that means uh, Ave and Weapon X can go ahead and get their fight going in the uh, loser's bracket. Let me just let them know. There we go. Cool beans. All right. Let's take it to the top. Uh, you guys can go. So it looks like we're going to have Hitman versus Subliminal, followed by Hardman versus Dark Zero. But yeah, all right, so let me tell everybody. Sub. Okay, but yeah, no, that was a good set. That was a good set. Let's see, Hitman. Subliminal. And we're in winner's round two. Whoop. Whoop. There's Hitman. And there's Subliminal. And there's me getting out of the way. Man. I wonder who he's playing. <laughs> I bet he plays Oro. Dude, that would be fun. I, like that'd be funny. I would I would I would be fascinated by that choice. What do we got? What do we got? Yo, it's a girl. Round one. Fight. Okay. Oh, Sublime will get stuffed trying to throw a fireball. Hitman just doing cartwheels on the poor man in the corner now. Oh. Good throw. Working on getting that stun. There's some Psycho Axe. Oh, Sabloon will come back at him with a Crouch uh, LP. Getting these strings going. Oh, he jumped away. Time for some fireballs. Got him with the stand light kick. Don't know if the, if the link just fell apart there or if it's even possible to keep going. Oh, good slide. Hitman a little, little early on the throw, transitions into a block string. And that's going to be round one for Hitman. Oh. Good grab. Back throw. Hitman attempting to terrorize the corpse ends up punishing the anti-air from subliminal. Very nice. And of course, solid teleport through the uh, the long distance poke there. Oh, hang on. Hang on. We got some retribution coming. Hitman very smart there. V-shifted away from the ice trap. Ooh. Favorite move though. All right, Bison's got the two projectile possibility right now. Went ahead and burned it. Racking up this gray health on Subliminal. And cashing in. 
EX double reverse will do it. Game one going to Hitman. All right, we back. Oh, yo, Hitman close enough to catch that cryokinesis at an angle. Very nice. Pop, pop. Got a hand in a subliminal. He is not backing down. Of course, that's not exactly the kind of character that uh, Gil is either. Hitman taking the lead on life there. Oh. Oh. Hitman allows the jump in. Not afraid of it whatsoever. No Psycho Inferno. Subliminal going to get at least the start. Oh. Start of a Retribution combo. He actually still has a lot of V-Trigger left too. If Hitman doesn't kill him here, he's definitely a threat. Nice grab! My oh, man just reached out and said, I see you. Straight up Superman versus the Flash in Justice League. Him. All right, coming out of the corner. Crack, crack, crack. Eggs into the bowl. Ooh, Subliminal trying to get fancy. The long distance overhead. Hitman tossed him back into the corner. Nice V ship there. Saves him from the uh, the meaty stand roundhouse. <sighs> Hitman in there to punish the V reversal of all things. That a throw against the wall is going to put Hitman at match point. Alright, Hitman did kind of look like he was ready to play footsies. Now it looks like he's more interested in dominating. Forward throw. Okay, we got the view reversal from Subliminal. Get some good hits in. Good chase down. Let's see that. The fireball's probably not going to come out until he's either at mid-screen or in the middle of a combo. So, oop, oop. Either way, it's a distraction or a damage add-on. Oh, Psycho Axe into Fireball. Ah, there it is. It's either going to be really close or really far away. Sliver of health left. And Hitman with the Scissor Kick. Go ahead and take that game. That was a long two games. But the set goes to one life to play Hitman. Uh, yes, Hardman, you are next. But yes, that will send Subliminal down to face Ivor else. Uh, Zero Knight has lost to Art the Ave. Good job, Ave. Not that Weapon X didn't try, but, you know. I don't recall it usually going that way for you, so well done. All right, let's get our next bat, our next match in here. We're gonna got, we're gonna gonna got, we got Dark Zero Omega versus Hardman, otherwise known as Andala. All right, there's Hardman. And there's Dark Zero. Good stuff, gentlemen. Thank you for being prompt. So yeah, I suspect no deception. What uh, what you see on their character uh, <laughs> default thing is what they're going to be playing.
Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this handshake's taking a minute. There we go. What? Oh. Round one. Fight. All right. Yo, yet another shirtless claw tonight. All right. You know, we're we're touching base here a little bit. Dark Zero Omega throws out a slide, little a uh, little haphazardly. Hard man with a mild punish, but nothing too scary. Omega Zero totally ready for Hard Man to come in low after this after that long dash. Nice, low altitude Azuna drop. All right. I can see Dark Zero came to play today. I can see it. With my eye holes. Nice, good catch on the jump over. Kind of initiated that jump over actually. Professional caster might call that a walk under. <laughs> All right, we got those hot hands. Nice slide. Dark Zero evading the heart, the uh, hard man counter. Gets tossed a bit. Woo! I don't know what this uh what this Vega jiggling fever is that Dark Zero's got, but I kind of like it. Ooh, wow! Did not get under that way. Nice combination. Can he do anything with that from here? Oh, he's launching into the critical art. Oh, this is definitely gonna kill. I don't care how weak Claw is. <laughs> Not bad. Dark Zero Omega taking out Hardman in game one of this match. And yes, big thank you to Reckless Weasel who not only resubscribed for 32 months, gave out a gift sub to Ave. Ave, you now have access to all the emotes in our channel. Please use them wisely. Well, all the tier ones anyway. <laughs> All right, after a slight initial uh, boxing around the ears, Dark Zero Omega seems to be coming back real hard on hard, man. Nice air throw. Oh, got up and over. The hailstones. Oh, that crossed up. Dark Zero let it go away, though. Oh, missed the command grab. Hands, hands, hands. And then more pressure. All right. Dark Zero out of there. Nice. Hits the V-Trigger. Ooh. Hard Man reminded him he's not the only one with the air throw, but a Rolling Crystal Flash is going to put Dark Zero Omega in the match point position. All right. Back throw there. Dark Zero doing a very good job at mitigating this choline damage, of course, as soon as I say that. Tried coming in low, transition to throw. Oh, another big throw. Dark Zero Mega on stun. I'm not sure if he can salvage this one. Unintentional bars. All right, yo, that's fine. Dark Zero can fight all he wants. There's a lot of gray health racking up though. Oh, got hit and took the throw. Okay. Hard man fighting back. Dark Zero Omega still sitting at match point, though.
All right, looks like some good corner pressure. Oh, got the cross up. DZ in this one. Oh, all right. Empty jump low, a classic. Tried and true. Oh no, tries to wall jump through the hail. Finds himself in a vulnerable position opposite side, eating a bunch of EX hands. Nice arm bar what, yet again. And Dark Zero using his uh using his V trigger to get clear. Ah, caught him flinching. Hard man ties it up. 1-1. One, one. Zero went in for the throw. Got told no. Slow trade back there with the hail after the impact of the uh, crouch roundhouse. Hard man ready and raring to go once again. Two counters in about 10 seconds. Hard man trying to demonstrate to Dark Zero the values of a good summer reading program. Oh, Dark Zero stood up a little too fast. Got that ice, yeah, got that brain freeze. <laughs> oh, nice counter by Hard Man. Dark Zero kind of have to take this. Oh, nice. Dark Zero had the great idea of jumping into neutral. Managed to kind of spook Hard Man a tiny bit. Now Hard Man's in the corner. We got an EX something or other. Yo, it was Sky High Claw the whole time. All right, forward throw. Nice. Sky High Claw again, into V-Trigger, up and over. Ooh, burning all that cash. But Dark Zero comes up with the W, and we are going to final round. All right, not a bad answer to the hill. Nope. All right, no, this is actually really smart of Dark Zero. He's not staying in any one place too long. Gets a good hit with the roundhouse. Back throw. Oh. Took the ice of the double jump, but no problem there. Oh, this might be, though. There goes the setup. Oh, but Dark Zero make us quick to stuff the dash in. It's not over for Hard Man yet, though. Plenty of meter on both sides. No one's popped V-Trigger yet. Back throw, and oh, this is gonna look so, oh, oh, what, what, what? <laughs> I mean, he can just do it. He can just do it. Dark Zero Mega can just do it. Oh, no. Oh, no, not like this. He's doing it. Oh! <laughs> he came all the way back. Maximum spider. And that's going to be Dark Zero Omega taking it over hard, man. Good going, DZ. Hey, Comrade Control, thank you for the follow. Woo, that was close. Hey, let's check on Underscore and uh, Kaiba. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a really good one. <laughs> he came all the way back. <laughs> all 
All right, well, that puts Hardman up against Green Ranger 64 in the lower bracket. Cruel Honoraj and 151 also have a match down there. Two one sky, okay. <laughs> All right, they're getting that on. Um, so while we wait to hear from underscore and Kaiba Sega Saturn, who I don't believe have played. Oh no, Kaiba, I wasn't calling you, buddy. I just wanted to make sure that I wanted to see if you got your fight done with uh, with underscore. <laughs> All right, because if we, if you, yeah, if that hasn't happened, then we're going to we're going to winter semis. You guys can play off stream. Hopefully, you guys can play off stream. All right. So yeah, Hitman was here just a little bit ago, but he's coming back. And hopefully he's not actually in that ranked match. Uh, Sky647 has not made an appearance yet tonight, but... Let's see what he's got cooking. He's been doing pretty well so far. I mean, he's, uh, what, taking out Cruel Enrage and Weapon X to get here. I mean, that gill of his is pretty deadly, but you can always catch this guy playing like Rose or... Yeah, underscore, you guys are off stream. Yep, we had, we had our two from the round two. <laughs> Oh, Hitman. Yeah, I know. Hitman's in a ranked match. I saw it. What's up, Destructive? How you doing? <laughs> uh, underscore, check out your screen. I guess while we have a few moments, I'll let you guys know what's uh, happening in about, uh, what, 10 days or so? Yeah, it's Frosty Faustings. Uh, so while the official dates are the are January 28th and 29th, uh, Matchstick Melee is going to be there for uh, basically all four unofficial days. Well, the two extra official days, Thursday and Sunday. Uh, so we are gonna be bringing you a slew of all the side tournaments. It's going to be really nice. We have a, a bigger, better setup than last year. Um, but yeah, Thursday night, we're going to have uh, Gundam Mobile Battle or what is it? Mobile, Mobile Battle on, something like that. It's a uh, Gundam Arena Fighter four player simultaneous matchup. We're going to try to bring it to you in, in a nice little matrix setup for the first time ever. Um, we tried to do it back in 2019, and I just didn't have the equipment, but we're a little better situated this time around. Uh, but after that, for the rest of the week, what, what do we got? What do we got for Matt? Well, Matt, we've got Dengenki Bunko Fighting Climax. Uh, we've got Street Fighter Alpha 2, Samurai Showdown 5 Special, The King of Fighters 2K2. Wind Jammers, uh, one and two, if I'm not mistaken. 
Puyo Puyo Tetris 2, Koihime Enbei, Koihime Enbu, Rio Rai Rai, uh, version 3, Melty Blood, AACC, Toho, Marvel Infinite, Killer Instinct, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom Ultimate All-Stars, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, Dive Kick, Fantasy Strike in a 1v1 format, Dead or Alive 6, and Pokin DX. And of course, that's just the stuff that is scheduled. Oh. Who knows what'll happen on Sunday? If I recall last time, we had a 22v22 match as people were flying out the door to make their planes uh, in Guilty Gear uh, Zerd Rev 2. And that was a hoot. <laughs> Anyway. So, Gill and Bison. We seeing Gill and Bison? I think we're seeing Gill and Bison. Harmony. Harmony. All right, let's get into it. Oh, Hitman! Not wearing the traditional black and red. What's going on? This man's branching out. Working on that drip lately. Okay. Oh, nice. Psycho Axe keeping Sky out of the air, ironically enough. Okay, good jump in. Sky knowing when to back off. Ah, Fire uh, Lariat just not... Safe enough to get away from Hitman. Oh! Neutral Roundhouse comes in. And the EX Scissor. Throw to finish. Season to taste. Round one going to Hitman. Okay, we got the Psycho Inferno. Managed to do a side change. That could actually be a disorientation tactic. Just... Changing the direction that somebody has to fight could have huge consequences. Oh. Sky didn't space that second medium pa uh, medium punch out just right. Got it with punished. Oh, once again. There's a V-trigger activation. Retribution combos all day into the bowl. Ooh. Hitman could be in trouble here. Oh, wow. Fantastic sweep. Sky tagging Hitman as he jumps over. <gasps> oh, and Sky trying to weather the storm here. Almost gets him with the same standing light kick on the opposite side. Whoa, okay, I see what happened there. I thought Sky was in block. He was actually trying to parry the uh, double reverse. Trying to get a little fancy. A little fancy. But yeah, Hitman with a, with a... You know, he gets the game, but that, that second round was pretty squeaky. Pretty squeaky. Round one. Fight. Oh, all right. Sky ready to punish there. No cross-up. Oh, had some reach on that right hook. Okay. Yeah, Hitman would definitely have trouble reacting to the, uh, the EX fireball that close up. Not a bad strat. Hitman just constantly ready to transition these stray hits into scissor kicks or whatnot. Another good throw. He's got Hitman burning. Oh, he almost had that punish, too. Oh, 
Oh, this could this could really go either way. Ah, oh, oh, wait, he's still up there. Hitman does not have the power to kill through Chip. Ah, but he can do that though. All right, possible final round of the set. This guy takes an early life lead. Nice tap there by Sky. Pushes Hitman back towards the corner. What's the tech here? Good throw. Ah, I tried to get onto that overhead just a touch too late. Oop. Once again, marvelous, uh, marvelous whiff punish there by Sky. That hole list only exists for a couple frames. Nice finish. Alright, tappy tap taps. Oh, this is so tense. This guy with a bit of a life deficit, but he's holding on. Never mind. Good V reversal though, actually. EX knees, pretty safe. Oh. oh, I thought for sure Sky would have like cleared that blast radius, but here we are. Still alive, but he's gonna have to play flawlessly to take this round. Oh. Of course, EX Psycho Inferno hits on both sides. Of course it does. Well, that's going to be a 2-0 for Hitman over Sky, but... That was definitely some work. Some work definitely needed to have happened. Alright, just got to do a little bookkeeping, folks, and I'll be right back with you. Now that we have that one settled, let's go on to our next winner's semi-fight. Which is going to be Underscore versus Dark Zero. Dark Zero, there we go. Look at that! And hey, uh, congratulations to Underscore for uh, getting over uh, his recent illness. I just got my my booster today, actually, so I'll be nice and nice and shielded for Frosties. Of course, I'm also planning to up my mask game and. No offense, but I don't really plan on like hugging anybody. <laughs> Nothing against anybody. <laughs> Nothing against anybody as, as people. So I'm kind of interested to see if we're going to get the cami or any other uh, one of the 
the plethora of characters that Underscore has been working on. Definitely getting clawed of our Omega. Oh, nope. Cammy. Oh. Look at this. Underscore with the respect right out of the gate. For those who I wish to protect, I will fight you. Let my beauty intoxicate you. Round one. Fight. Okay, let's go. Oh! No hooligan combo at the start. And Dark Zero Omega gets the first real damage on the board. Let's see if he can hold this... <laughs> hold this momentum. That was a really nice backflip to, uh, to evade the Spiral Arrow. Nice. Oh, nice. Cannon spike going right through. Only a little bit of E-Trigger left for Underscore to utilize in that particular fashion. And does so expertly with the DP. Oh! Good walk under. Got a couple light punishes out of that. Oh! Ooh! Dark Zero lucky enough not to get punished on the big whiff. And a couple of quick jabs takes the first round for Dark Zero Omega. Seems to be having a good night. Let's see let's see if he uh, holds on to that. Ooh, trouble. Underscore right there to punish the V-shift. Gets the EXDP as a combo finisher, but yo, we are coming back, maybe. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Final round. Some say thick thighs save lives. I present counter evidence. Oh, nice dash under there. All right. Underscore definitely trying to stay tricky. Going to try to overwhelm Dark Zero with speed, since he seemed to be sort of losing out in the uh, in the slow, steady, calculated uh, department. Nice, good transition from the roundhouse into the spiral arrow. Uh oh, there goes the claw. All right, so slight frame advantage now belongs to Dark Zero Omega. Manages to pop V-Trigger after Sky High Claw. No follow-up. Oh. Dark Zero spots the side swap. Very nice. Oh! A surprise yet blocked Spiral Arrow, and Dark Zero is having a little bit of fun in the corner now. Gets V-Reversaled. EX Sky High again. <gasps> Manages to punish the EX... Hooligan and a nice Azuna drop is going to give the game to Dark Zero Omega. Round one. Fight. Mm hmm. Hmm. All right, here we are in game two. Dark Zero is starting off pretty well, getting some solid pokes. Underscore made that deficit back up pretty quickly, though. Nice back throw, gonna get him again. You might catch uh, Underscore throwing a lot more. All right, yep, V-Trigger for safety. Ah, walks straight into the MK. Round two. Point. All right, round two. Underscore clearly feeling a little bit better about this matchup. Nice uh, stuff there by Dark Zero. Oh, gets up by the cannon strike. Throw back to the left corner. But he's not backing down. He seems to think his normals can uh, save the day. What he needs to really focus on, though, is breaking these grabs. It's 
not like they're not like they're command. He can get out of them. Of course, trying to tech and CFN is just sometimes an exercise of utility. All right, burning a little bit of meter. Got the side swap, but missed time to get up on underscore. Oh, oh! <laughs> and underscore says, "I have nothing left to lose." Burns the meter for the victory and takes game two. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So we have an even match here. Round one. Fight. Oh, good dash under. Sending a good message at the start of this thing. Oh, gets thrown out of the overhead. Okay. Once again, Dark Zero letting him know that these uh, these fake out cross up attempts aren't going to net him much except a light kick to the face. Oh, I'm kind of seeing a lot of similar uh, patterns out here. It's kind of like watching Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Sorry, set play. It's set play. <laughs> oh no. Off the wall, underscore, right there to kick him in the back. Ooh, low altitude cannon strike. No doubt Dark Zero thought it was going to be an abandoned hooligan. And yeah, another stand MK. Fantastic poke. Going to put underscore at match point. Dark Zero Mega, last chance here. Good stuff on the anti-airs. Oh, that was a whiff. Could definitely have gotten something big off of that. Sit on full meter. Ah, got snagged at the last pixel on that throw box. Okay. Uh oh. Stare down. We're back to action. We're all being very cautious right now. Oh, good crush counter. Yeah, it leads right into the crouch roundhouse. If you're Claw, you must slide eventually. These are the rules. Mmm, checking that dash. That's some good work, Dark Zero. All right, V-Trigger is up. Dark Zero gets spooked by the, uh, the cannon strike on the way in. That's two now. Nice air throw. All right. Ah, oh, Dark Zero got a little anxious. Went for it again. Oh, man, he could have had that punish after the, after the EX hooligan like he did the other time. Just mistimed it a little bit. Underscore is going to come back from that uh, first game and take the set two to one. But good games all around. Yeah, it, what? People quit. Stop. Stop texting. I'll harm you. All right, so Kaiba Sega Saturn and Ave are still playing, which means we'll just jump to our second uh, loser's top eight match, which is going to be Cruel Enrage versus Subliminal. Get him in ya, subliminal, cruel on rock. <laughs> I forget the Dan Habiki show. Who was that? Was that? I think I know, but that's right. That's kind of funny that we have Sky Six Four Seven who plays Gil, and then Subliminal One Four Seven who also plays Gil. I think I wasn't supposed to notice that. 
Well, it was nice knowing you folks. Enjoy my enjoy my clone at, at Frosty Faustings. I'm sure he'll be great. GG's. <laughs> oh, that was probably to your opponent, Hive. That's fine. Still, that would have been, that would have been a great thing. Like, bye, bye, guys. I'm probably going to die soon. Hey, GG's. Yep, Gil versus Kage. All right. Here's a matchup you don't see too often. Harmony. That is the truth of what you must seek. Be afraid. Round one. Fight. Alright, nothing to write home about just yet. Nice forward throw for Adraj. He's known for doing those. You're really keeping the pressure on here. And you kind of have to. While Gil may not be uh, really equipped to come back uh, mechanic everybody else in the cast, Kage does have that low life total. Ah, he got spooked. I keep telling you, don't jump in on Anraj. Just don't do it. Don't do it as an experiment. Only do it as a guaranteed. Don't break in this man's house unless you know he's going to be away for two weeks. <laughs> it's got to be free or it ain't happening. All right, Tatsu into DP. Coming in for the throw, working on that stun. Shockinette's pressure. See Subliminal trying to sneak out of the corner, but he didn't get very far at all. Game one going to Cruel Anraj. Kage wins. All right, looks like we took a little little, little breather on that one. That's fine. Oh. And Subliminal just cannot find a way in here. Cruel on Raj. Uh, shutting him down at every opportunity. Good jump in, though. Too bad nothing came out of it. Although, quite honestly, if we're going to fight this fight of normals, wow, I'm really surprised Subliminal did a side swap on that. Did manage to take the life lead. Let's see if Anraj lets him keep it. Not bad. Oh! That's how you do it. Nice stand LP crouch MP combo. So yeah, subliminal. Not out of it yet, but... Once again, don't jump on Anraj. Better be free. Better be free, 99. Nice. The X-Axe kick. Forward throw. And I highly sit out Subliminal would live through an attempt to get stunned. So, yeah, this probably uh, next hit or two going to be it. Oof. And eats a shock and that's at point blank range. Final round. Cruel on Raj on match point. Good parry. Unfortunately, stuck in the animation a bit too long. On Raj able to punish. Wakes up on the opposite side. Gonna start driving him towards the right now. Bumble really trying to fuel uh, 
Yeah, really trying to get these parries off. Oh, nice. Uh, if that wasn't a trade, he might have been able to pop V trigger. Keep the combo going. Ah, he challenged. Not sure if he could have really done anything differently. Nice parry, coming back in. There's the V-Trigger activation. Now we got Retribution combos. There's the ice setup. Nice V-Shift, gets out of it. Oh, that was a solid anti-air. And he's still nailing him with these combos. Last hit of the throw knocks him into stun. And Subliminal is going to catch Cruel Anraj, bringing it to 1-1. One, one. Some smart plays by Subliminal in that, in that game. Oh, all right. After a little bit of a hit first thing, looks like Subliminal might be uh, might be feeling the matchup a bit better. This time's the parry on the Shockinets. There's a throw by Anraj. Anraj jumps in now. Tatsu to DP, of course. Oh, baits out the throw response and punishes accordingly. All right, match point, Cruel Anraj. All right, a lot of good poking going on. That air fireball, I believe, was meant as a warning from Subliminal to Cruel Anraj, just to say, like, hey, man, maybe you shouldn't be jumping. Despite the fact that it's continuously working out for you. Good forward throw. That's going to be stunned. This is going to be huge damage. I would be surprised if Anuraj has a move in here that would kill. Oh, no. He wants the reset. And a trade is going to get the victory for Anuraj. That's going to be a two, uh, two to one victory for him. As he moves on to loser's quarters versus Dark Zero Omega. But before that, we've got Hardman versus Kaiba Sega Saturn. Uh, CD, CJ plays Nooch. First of all, thank you for the follow. Second of all, if you'd like to join us, all you need to do is be a uh, U.S. or Canadian resident and live east of the Dakotas. Is he playing his match right now? Uh, I see. Well, tell you what, we'll take a quick message break. And uh Yeah, we'll just we'll just do do a little self-promotion here. And if he's not back by that time, I guess we'll just move on. So let's talk about. <laughs> I feel like I'm queuing up one of those uh, Captain America things from from the Spider-Man uh, Far From Home. It's like, so you've decided to watch Matchstick Melee. Hang on. Before I do that, let me actually send out invites. So Kaiba Sega Saturn and. Hardman. Okay. So, if you weren't here to catch the first announcement, or the several that I've made over the past uh, few weeks, uh, Matchstick Melee is going to be the official side stream of Frosty Faustings 2022. So that means we'll be bringing you uh, the, the vast majority of the side tournaments that are going to be happening. Uh, under their roof, which include uh, Gundam, Maxa Boost on, Melty Blood, the original, uh, Pokémon Tournament DX, Wind Jammers, Wind Jammers 2, 
Uh, Koihime Enbu. Uh, what's that? Fighting. Uh, that is Fighting Climax. Uh, sorry, so let me go look at my list. <laughs> Uh, Dengeki Buko, Street Fighter Alpha 2, Samurai Shodan 5 Special, King of Fighters 2K2, Windjammers, Puyo Puyo Tetris 2, uh, Koihime Enbu, Ryo Rai Rai Version 3, Melty Blood, AACC, Toho, Marvel Infinite, Killer Instinct, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, Dive Kick, Fantasy Strike, Dead or Alive 6, and Poken DX. So, if you're not already following us and you want to see what the high-level players are doing in these games over the course of the weekend, please give us a follow. Uh, we will actually be broadcasting Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to uh, bring you all the action. And then I might come home and take a vacation from fighting games for a solid week. Who knows? <laughs> uh, but anyway... Let's take a look. I don't think he's showing up. 151, what's up, buddy? Nut, no, nut, no, never mind. Okay. All right. All right. Let me just tell Kaiba we're going to circle back. Uh, let's see if Cruel Anraj is ready to fight Dark Zero. Keep the party going, that's what I say. Dark Zero, Cruel Anraj. Both in training. Good stuff, guys. Keep those hands hot. Keep those nerves cool. All right. Cruel Anraj ready to go. Oh, and there's Hard Man. Ah! <laughs> okay. You know what? Anraj, I'm sorry, buddy. I gotta grab him while I can. I'm so sorry. It is nothing against you, I promise. Kaiba, get back in here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh man, is Anraj my new Shadow Ace? Dark Zero! <laughs> Kaiba! Kaiba! I swear to God, if you wandered away... Bruh. Wow, this is a uh, comedy of errors right here, folks, is, folks, is what you call it. Let's try him again. I am a bully. I'm the worst. <laughs> and this is and this is just my online persona. I'm I'm Worse in real life. All right, you know what? I think we lost kind of a Sega Saturn. I swear. Okay. I just wanted flow, man. I just wanted flow. <sighs> there he is! Ah! <laughs> Go, go, go! <laughs> I 
All right, this is your last loser's top eight. <laughs> Let's do this. You like the you like these twists and turns, everybody. All right, so Colleen versus Nash. Da, 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 da. More blonde people. Like I'm one to talk. <laughs> well, what can I say, 151? Those rivers be flowing a little smoother these days. <laughs> Hard man switching to birdie. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Alright, how is Kaiba going to adapt to this? Oh, by popping V-Trigger nice and early. Unfortunately, gets anti-aired out of his uh, Moonsault there. Ooh, good backdash. Kaiba saves himself from getting stunned. Now, these two probably have similar, uh, similar leg length. Oh, nice. Sonic Scythe. Oh. That button don't point that way, my man. Ah, you got anxious. Nice, good use of the V-Trigger, and right into Critical Art. Okay, Kaiba. Think you're turning this around? I respect the hustle. Oh, look who's paying attention. Ah, never mind. <laughs> that was pretty close, though. Let's see if Kaiba can adapt to overcome that last little bit of life. But he missed out on taking from Hard Man. Ooh, nice. Well, got out of the hit stun of, uh, or at least the block stun of one of those. Hard Man taking Sonic's, not sure why. Moon Salt, very nice. Oh. Sonic Scythe, of course, fantastic keep out move. Can't do it all the time. It's not flash kick, but definitely effective. Hard man definitely feeling the life disparity right now. Pops V trigger. So we have some chain shenanigans that could be going on. Woo. All right, Kaiba Sick of Saturn takes round two. Pretty handily from the looks of it as well. Oh, only gets one hit of the Sonic Scythe. Kind of a waste of meter, but hey, he is still alive to talk about it, so. Repels the cross-up attempt. Very nice. Once again, misses the uh, first section of the EX headbutt. All right, we got shenanigans. Ah, he really wanted to push him onto that can. Almost takes damage after the V-Trigger activation. Hard man catches Kaiba's toes. Now we're back to the stare down. Kaiba tries to dash in, gets HP for his trouble. And misfires on the critical art. This could be big damage for Hard Man. And another kind of misfire for Kaiba Sick of Saturn's V uh, V-Trigger. Got that moonsault and cancels it right into the standing combo. All right, Kaiba Sega Saturn. Doing some surprising moves out there. Takes game one. Also, Bloodbath McGrath, I see you out there in the chat. How you doing, my brother? Hope life is treating you well in your new locale.
Oh, I think we're going back to character select. Armchair quarterbacking as always. Good. I hope Jordan is like smacking you in the back of the head every time you do it. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, it's a long handshake. I wonder how long we're how far we're gonna be behind. If you stand in my way, I will kill you. Alright, so hard man went for the main. Round one. Fight! Let's see what happened. Ooh, nice moonsault to start things off. Kaiba Sick of Saturn sending a strong signal. Oh, that was a really nice low to the ground cross up. Hard man going for that stun. You can tell. There it is. Uh, 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 uh. uh. I was like, look at your death. Look at it. <laughs> He's keeping pace. Hard man not opting to interrupt the second half of that uh, that moonsault slayer. Oh, he's looking for that punish. He's looking for that jab. Ah, he does not read the overhead. He gets tagged. Round one going to hard man. Okay, got the jump away jab. Hard man keeping uh, Kaiba unnoticed, trying to demoralize him. Don't blame him, he's gotta be feeling pretty good about himself right now. Nice counter. Oh no. Not sure why Sonic Scythe came out, but Kaiba Sega Saturn getting punished for that one. And another big counter. That's gonna be the round and the game for Hardman as we move on to game three. Oh, and we're back to the back to the room again, okay. I suspect that uh, Kaiba just needed a quick breath. <laughs> Anraj, it is actually a little funny here. Let me, so everybody can see. Uh, he says, I wish Sean Madden were alive to analyze some of these matches. Dude would have had the whole screen covered with circles and lines. I think I could do that. I think I can actually do that. I just need, um... I need to think about how I'm going to, but I think I can do it. Of course, then I also need like a style. I guess I could use my mouse. But yeah, it would be, um, hmm. <laughs> oh, see, that's the, that's the difference, uh, Bloodbath. I would not do it well. <laughs> Just be drawing not safe for work things all over the screen <laughs> after I got done circling and pointing. All right, let's swap these sides. Yo, the immediate stare down. Immediate and hard man breaks it with that flop.
That's sweet, Bloodbath. Tell her we miss her too. Up and over. Punishes the EX Sonic Scythe. EX Stabby Hands. Stabby Stabby. I don't know if I like that. Nice! Air Grab! You tend to forget Nash has one of those. Oh! Kaiba had the good read on uh, Hardman coming in low. Unfortunately, he thought he was safe on distance, and Hardman proving him wrong. Catches Hail in the air, gonna keep the combo going. And yeah, quick gut check to a toe tap, and Hardman takes another round. Oh! Try to bazooka knee at the start. Again, no challenge to the second half of the uh, Sonic, uh, not Sonic Scythe, the EX Moonsault. Dang you, Nash, all your stuff sounds the same. <laughs> nice catch. Try it again. Third time's a charm. Why not? <laughs> Meter comes back, baby. Nice forward hit. Hailstone again. It's all the name of setup. Oh! Threading the needle. Kaiba Sega Saturn trying the same trick twice. Empty jump to throw. Checking hard man on wake up again. Oh, if that had been neutral air throw, he would have got him. Hard man says it's over. And she says, what did I just say? <laughs> and with a 2-1 victory, Hardman going to take it over Kaiba Sega Saturn and move on to Loser's Quarters versus Sky 647. Good games, though. We're seeing a lot of the... the a lot of the folks that usually end up in the, in the lower ranks challenging the folks in the upper. That's really good. Okay, let's try Cruel Enrage and Dark Zero again. Guys, I, I promise I will not kick you out this time. Also, big thanks to Send Toe Picks 0906. <laughs> oh, you had to make it rhyme. <laughs> Kaiba, get out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Kaiba just a Kaiba just a tiny bit sad that his his uh, his rush to to victory was was halted, but that's fine. All right, cruel Enrage, Dark Zero PC. It's for real this time, guys. I promise. <laughs> Kaiba did put in work. Nothing shameful about it. All right, Cruel Enrage is here. Mit that Kage. Dark Zero, where'd you go? Dark Zero. Oh, that's PlayStation. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Come on, let's go. <laughs> there we are. I was gonna have to hunt him down. Alright, so yes, your first quarterfinal match on loser side. We get through this and we get through Sky and Hardman and we're into top four, which will be Hitman versus Underscore and winners.
That's a dance that's been danced many a time, but you can never tell what's going to happen there. And yeah, Cruel Onraj can just not escape the cavalcade of claws coming his way tonight. Be afraid. Round one. Fight. Man, those shiny horns on Kage are just distracting as all hell. Alright. Looks like uh, Onraj is taking the, the damage lead here. Whoop. Back throw. Inching menacingly towards the corner. Putting in that damage while he's going there. Alright, yep, keeping it safe with the V-Trigger. Dark Zero cannot perform that trick again this, uh, this round, I don't think. Nice throw. Oh, interrupts the X-Ax. Definitely necessary. Ooh, there we go. Punish that Tatsu. Up and over. On Raj. Very smart. Trades in midair on that one. Keeps the momentum on his side no matter what. And what? Crouch roundhouse? Yep, crouch roundhouse to seal the deal on round one. Oh. Tried to get a walk under. Now, the smart thing that Dark Zero did there was not try to stick out that stand LK that he's very uh, uh, positive on for when people jump over him. Unfortunately, he did get tagged, and now he's kind of eating it at mid-screen. Ooh, there you go. You gotta punish Shoto roundhouses. You have to. Yo, with the big swings. Telling Anraj, I hope you have a fireball for me. <laughs> now see, look at that. Dark Zero immediately re-taught himself the range of the of the basically the turn swipe. He's like, this could still save my life, but I need to know one more time. Ah, 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 ah! Kaboom, baby! Yo, I don't, I don't want to toot my own horn on that one, but I saw the wheels turning on that that particular uh, that particular exchange from a ways back. Don't believe me? Check the vod. Okay, back in the match. Anuraj has got a pretty healthy life lead here. Up and over. Ooh, punishes the... Okay. Ah, Onraj getting caught by the V-Trigger activation. Eats the EX Azuna drop, and things are now much closer than they were just a second ago. Another big swipe. Oh, wow. Like zero startup on that EX DP. Dark Zero Mega was like mid-punch. And just the... the the fact that that thing ground bounces and he gets to keep the combo going. Oof. Kage, Kage is certainly dangerous in the right hands. All right. Cruel Onraj taking that first game. Round one. Fight. A little bit of a network hitch there. Ah, Dark Zero a little early on the big swing. Ooh, nice. Counter hit damage, always a little more. Air grab with the nice spacing. Challenging Onraj to try to jump over him to get away. Or get a jump in. Either way. Oh, blocks correctly. No follow up. Dark Zero, showing that he knows better than a challenge. Ooh, changes up the timing. 
Big swipe. All right. Anraj not going to make it down twice. Gets a throw. Fireball doing all the work for him today. Almost has Dark Zero to stun, but... All right. Claw puts it away. Ooh, actually manages to fuzzy... Uh, fuzzy hit that. I'm sure Anraj is blocking, but... Yeah, that was, that was definitely a 50-50. Oh, the stare down is so real. Oh, Dark Zero does not block her appropriately. And gets Shin Ryuken. Or not Shin Ryuken, the Shin Shoryuken. Oof. <laughs> Man, that was explosive damage. All right. Match point, Cruel Anraj. Getting taken to the corner now. Anraj definitely doing that work. Ooh, gets interrupted on the axe kick. Dark Zero looked like he was back to his uh, gain momentum through Pokes plan. Now he's fighting for his life out here. There goes the claw. Oh. B trigger for safety, of course. We have critical art that could even out those life totals. Is he ever going to get the chance to? With Anuraj just putting on the pressure like this. Oh, forward throw for the win. Caught him on wake up. Perfectly timed. Kage wins. Cruel Anuraj taking it 2-0 over Dark Zero Omega. Still very, very close. And that will see Dark Zero out of the tournament as we whittle down our top four after this next match. Sky 647 versus Hardman. Let's see if we can get Hardman in here. The Maelstrom. Aw, oh, Bloodbath McGrath got all nostalgic for Street Fighter and fired up his, his computer. Where are you? Da, da, da. Hard man. Hey. Anytime you're ready, guys. All right, so probably Gil versus Colleen. Let's do this. Sometimes I steal my man's shirt so I can smell his colon. <laughs> that, it, that will never not be funny. I'm sorry. Yep. Now I feel like this is one we don't see too often. I feel like Sky usually ends up going against like Hitman and Darklight and that is the truth of what you must seek. I feel like these two don't get matched up very often in bracket, so I'm I'm gonna be interested to see what happens. Round one. Let's go. Oh Hard Man with the clean jump in. All right. Trying to keep Hardman grounded. Hardman says that's not a problem. I'll come in and do what I need to do. Ah. Not entirely certain I understand what was going on. Was Hardman looking to trade with the hail ball or what was happening? 
Oh, almost had the reset. Bounced out due to being airborne. And yeah, now Hardman definitely putting the screws to Sky. Nice catch low. Oh, Hardman thought he had a read on an attack. Sky coming in with the empty jump low. Crack, crack, crack the eggs into the bowl, and it's Sky with the first round victory. It is time to proceed with the plan. Round two. Oh, hard man just ready to go through all of these projectiles. No second thought given, no hesitation. This is my dude, you can catch these hands. I got a million. Oh, Sky got a little greedy on the ground. Hard man had that counter waiting for him. Nice anti air. Oh, Sky misjudges the, the grab there. And Hardman comes in to punish. And if he hadn't gotten that throw, I'm sure he could have done significant enough damage via chip. But round apiece. Game one. Guy, another uh, player who's very adept at his anti-airs. Seraphic Wing as a starter is always very good. Gets to build back his meter now. It's not like Hardman has that much of an advantage over him in this regard. Okay, good throw. We're pushing towards the corner. Missed the throw. Goes back for it again. EX knife hands. Really wanted that stun, you can tell. Nice Batista bomb. As you can see, the stun meter going back down. It seems very unlikely that that's going to be how this resolves. Hardman, however, not too much stock in the idea. Does it the old fashioned way. 1 0 for Hardman. Man up to his usual tricks. Ooh. And Sky responds in kind. Oh, does not clear the ice ball. Counter throw. Okay. Now we're in the corner. Ooh, good V trigger pop. We're going to do some damage. Hardman pops his own V-Trigger. Wow, had time to slide and turn around and shoot a jab out. And with the dash, takes another round off of Sky. Alright, match point for Hardman now. Sky not nailing his uh, typical anti-air to fireball combo. My bad started though, look like LP Lariats. Crack, 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 eggs into the bowl. Ah, short needed so that Hardman would put out something a little unsafe. Unfortunately, Hardman has made these big plays before. Definitely working at trying to stun Sky out. Oh, we made contact. Retribution combos all day. Hardman makes a fantastic guess about where Sky's going to be after that little air to air.
Oh. Wait the journey. Another big throw. What's up, Jim? Stab, stab, stab. Oh, hard man came in low. Try to finish it off with the throw. Sky ready for him though. Ah, crush countered. And that's going to be hard man with the 2-0 victory. Again, very close. As we say, good evening to our friend Sky647. All right. Well, that was pretty good. I would say, hard man, go get yourself a bit of a rest. If you have another match in your uh, in your other event, I'd say go ahead and knock it out because we are moving to winner's final. Hitman versus underscore. <laughs> yep. All right, buddy. I got, there you go. There you go. There it is. All right, underscore, yes. And then if he's in a casual match, that gives me time. Oops. Wait. I think I did, I'm not sure. Time to do that anyway. No, too much, too much cancel, too much cancel. But I hope you guys are having fun out there. Hopefully all the uh, audio and visual is nice and clean on your end. Looking pretty clean over here, but you can never tell too much, right? Right. Tell you what, I am looking forward to that hard man cruel onrage match as soon as we're done with winners. Not that winners isn't gonna be fun, but in fact we might go there first if we can't get underscore in here. <laughs> there we go, okay. I will take on my ways for just the W. As a W. For me. Oh. Hey. Okay, yes, first to three. All right, back at the queue. There we go, phone on vibrate. All right, let's go. I'm ready to look at this. I'm back. Woo! Chat, say hi to Gem Lethal. Gem Lethal, chat. Hi, chat. <laughs> like I looked it in there already. Well, you did sort of come in like a wrecking ball. Never mind. I'm not gonna. Round one. I'm always a wrecking ball. What are you talking about, Matt? 
Okay. Well, speaking of Wrecking Balls, we got two of the biggest and baddest here on screen right now as uh, One Life to Play Hitman fights Underscore for what seems like the umpteenth million time. So we got tracks. So we're covering the cheeks up with the tracks. We <laughs> Sometimes you have to cover the cheeks. And we got black and yellow. going on over with Hitman. So. Yeah, Hitman's really been varying the, uh, varying up the costume selection tonight. Well, how I hope so. Gotta say, don't hate it. <laughs> and Hitman takes that. Yep. <laughs> He's pretty good at doing that. Cammy just going and doing damage. That's <laughs> why I just scored it. Hitman's like, no purpose for you. And underscore's like, yes, there is. <laughs> and Hitman's like, no. I won the mental war. That's all that matters. <laughs> the mental war is a very huge part of the game. Mm -hmm. Nice hell attack into the EX projectile. Psycho axe to the ground. Yeah. Knees to the face. Oh, oh nice V reversal. Actually keeps uh, Underscore much closer to him than Underscore would like to be. And Underscore answered with yep. stay away from me. <laughs> he sure did. Came back with the back off or I'll call the cops. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, yo, we dancing. We dancing. The question is, who is going to tangle? Who's going to tangle? Who will lead? <laughs> and who will have a hand on their butt? What? You know, dancing. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> that went so south. So. <laughs> nice Let's forward throw there. Yo, <laughs> underscore with the nice uh, anti air versus double reverse. Hey, we're just trying to catch underscore, underscore this not Ooh. having any of it. That uh, neutral air roundhouse is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Are you going to see underscore starting to stutter his step as well? Mm -hmm. Just trying to get Hitman oh. unseated from his comfy position. That was nice. Huh. Burning a lot of V-meter for these uh, reversals. Mm -hmm. Hey, sometimes you just got it. It comes back pretty quick for her. It's only a two bar V skill. I'm oh, sorry, a V trigger. So, yeah. Would not be surprised. There we go. There It popped. Did it again. Yep. I Man. know it's going to happen. Let's do it. Hitman spooking underscore with the, uh, the V reversal, keeping her nice and close. And, yep. That caution is going to feed into Hitman's battle plan as he takes game one. Uh-huh, you know what it is. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. What is that, a song about bees? Wow. <laughs> Didn't you hear that old? <laughs> All right, so far they're keeping pace with each other pretty well. Underscore got a heck of a grab off that throw. You know that Pokemon battle where it's like you forgot that like you needed to be one more of the bull above the actual gym leader, but you're at the same level as them, so it's just annoying and you guys are just playing who can chip away at who first. No. Game. I was king of overleveling. <laughs> He's like, no. I don't want to fight. You're gonna overlevel everything. Yeah. It's like, I'm good on smoke, thanks. <laughs> Here, have some of mine. <laughs> and along those lines, a uh, nice little Psycho Inferno is going to give Hitman the round win there. Mm -hmm. Gotta stick out that uh, stand LP. 
so far we're not having speed runs tonight, so. No, it's actually been a lot of close matches this season. A lot of folks that uh, you wouldn't think normally had a chance are out here taking games off the big folks. Yep, yep. So yeah, Hitman go with a raw ultimate Psycho Crusher. Ooh, Pretty wow. significant damage there. I just heard his answering back. Oh. Oh, caught him. Yep. This one's pretty close. Oh. All right. Hitman opts not to be there anymore. Probably smart. They both missed it. Try to tap with a dash under. Oh, so well timed! Stand roundhouse from underscore, completely demolishing whatever. Uh, oh no! Never mind. Oh, oh, oh. Spoke too soon. The man said, "Yo, I'm just gonna be doing this on the way out of the arena, and if you run into it, it's your own fault." And Cammy didn't listen. Are we getting a character change or are we keeping Cammy? Oh, we're we're keeping Cammy. 100% underscore stays on Cammy anytime he has to fight uh, Hitman. See, she has the Crocs on. I think those are Crocs with nursing shoes. Or her track shoes. Oh, they look more like, uh, more like some kind of Ked. But like it's kind of weird seeing her in a track suit, not like her normal uniform of just you know them legs. Oh, trust me, them legs is still there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that was slick. Did you see underscore just kind of shimmy it on him? Yeah. He got all up inside a hitman's bread basket on that one. Oh, wow, and Hitman just in a horrible position punish. to punish that. But, oh, well, looks like he's doing dead. okay for himself. Yeah, should be dead. Hello, Shadow Ace. I see you. You can't hide from me. Oh, look. There's pummels. Oh, that was nice. Yep. Oh, no. He so, called it. Yeah. He saw it coming and he was like, no. Hitman was like, you know what would be great right now is if Underscore threw out a blocked spiral arrow. <laughs> Man, mm -hmm. I'd have so much fun with that. Uh oh. Trade. That was not a bad trade off the hooligan. The river, maybe trigger. Bro, all Snap right. The freaking neck. Throw again. again. Hitman's got to gotta tech these. There we go, oh. there we go, there we go. I'm surprised he's not doing the raw. Uh, well, I mean, he's got- oh! She just went in. Hitman took the hit so he could come back and do all this nonsense. <laughs> he knew she'd be inside for a while. And then EX scissors <laughs> through his own Psycho Inferno. Yep. This man is insane. And that's enough to get him the win. Uh, 3-0 over underscore. Well, looks like we got to take out the broom. Are, okay. you, are you show timing at the Apollo? This, this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gotta do. Oh. There's Darklight. The hey, Darklight. What's happening, buddy? Where were you? Where the f were you? <laughs> he has appeared. <gasps> oh. All right. On to. <laughs> Tired. <laughs> Understandable. Hi, Dark Light. First two. All right. So here comes Hard Man and Cruel on Raj. Hopefully. So it just says Hard Man's in a ranked match, so it should be easy easy for us to grab him. You are ours now. No more rank for you. Yep, there is the crudest of Onrages that I know of.
Hey guys, Concha. I need to get some animated, uh, animated emotes. Really spruce things up around here. One day yells, Gem. Gem! <laughs> nah, I need, I need one. I, I need them to distract from the fact that I'm never gonna decorate my Guilty Gear rooms. <laughs> you can play me until you do. But no, the 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 joke now is that I I will never do it. <laughs> oh. He's coming in a sec. All right. Frosty Faustings. Ding. Follow the channel for side tournaments. <laughs> this looks so much better than the other one. Yeah, you know. Time and presentation and all that. Hmm hmm hmm. So Jem, how is how is Shul? It's all right. Did you learn all the things? Hold on. <laughs> okay. I had a break today. Nice. So tomorrow I have school. Thursday and Friday I have school. So it is Wednesday. <laughs> Alright, Jim. Do you say Ready? do you say caramel or caramel? Caramel? Or do you do caramel? Carol. Cara? As in like Cara cancel? Caramel. Caramel. What? Whoever says caramel, you're weird. Well, it's not caramel, it's, it's caramel. Caramel, you're yeah. weird. But like, I feel that they're they're interchangeable to ba like based on what you're talking about. Like, I don't know. I like caramel apple better than caramel apple. A caramel apple is a caramel apple. No, it's a caramel <laughs> apple. <laughs> Yo. Cars yeah. and mail says dark light. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Killed just enough time. <laughs> there's caramel. And then there's chocolate. Uh, first to two. <laughs> first to two. Hard man. Loser's, uh, loser's semifinal. So there's caramel. And then there's chocolate. And yes... And then there's sweet tea. <laughs> That's you. That's what your people sound like. <laughs> Y'all want some sweet tea? Sweet tea. Sweet tea. Sweet tea. <laughs> See, I don't say it like a southerner. Like, there's some <laughs> things I'll say in a southern accent, but, like, since my family is mostly, mostly like, northerners and, like, Caribbean people, it's like... I say a certain word, a certain thing, like chocolate. 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 Oh, that's great. <laughs> and then there's like, but like, whenever I say like, I want a soda, it's so duh. So duh. <laughs> because Round I need a soda, duh. Course. Hey, Soul Robba, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the, uh, uh, host, man. Appreciate it. And the raid. On to the fight. All right. So Hardman's already taking, uh, picking apart Anraj a bit. But we've seen Honoraj come back from nothing before. It's true. So. Honoraj actually does have, a, like, probably the best track record of, like, the explosive come from behind finish. Mm -hmm. All right, into the corner now. Left. Not the throw. Ooh. He's just trying to shimmy. Low altitude uh, ice spike, very nice. Oh, and of course, Ooh, wow. projectile that went involved that. and all that. Oh. 
Got for the abominable snowman over here. Woo! Oh. He's gonna eat. He he's gonna eat Rudolph out. and Herbie. And no, maybe, that's when. You and maybe you can Cornelius if there's room. <laughs> no, that's you put him aflame. Oh look, DP came out. Oh, and yeah. just so much damage. EXDP comes out so fast. We had a match earlier uh, where Anraj was fighting a Claw, and Claw was like mid swing, and the EXDP beat it out. <laughs> I was like, uh... Like, the screen froze, uh, and you're like, oh man, he's gonna get punished on this on this V-Trigger pop. And not only did V-Trigger resolve, he had time to throw out EXDP. Mm -hmm. It is very fast. Oops. That recovery stupid. Speaking of fast, hard man up and over. Just kicking the face. Ice. Oh! Ooh. All the ice with the sun. Oh my god. Hard man popping Anraj in the ear with a snowball to finish out the round. It's like you take a snowball, then you put it in somebody's hoodie, then throw it over his head. <laughs> cruel, cruel world we live in. Hey, Kage, look over there. Rrr. Oh! <laughs> no hitting in the ear, I'm telling you. Oh, good anti air. Telling Daddy Ono. <laughs> That psych. I'm gonna jump out here. Got low kicks. Yep. Oh, uh -huh. Andra shut down during fireball activation. Does manage to uh -huh. win out the. Andra just doing the, all these like shimmies. Yeah, Andra has to put in work. Like, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. He's he's probably one of the most. Like he, he, yeah. Kage does not have the same flow that Akuma does. Like Akuma has these crazy extended combos along with his like big damage stuff. Uh, Kage does not necessarily have the same kind of flow. He does have the damage, but he does not have the flow. So, like, you've really got to do a lot more work with him. And, yeah, to counter this, he also has a uh, very low life total. So, yeah, Hardman finds himself on set point as Anraj tries to figure out what he's going to do against Colleen's acrobatic shenanigans. Did he dress her as a witch because she's cold-hearted? Uh, could be. I think he just likes this costume. <laughs> Knowing hard man as I do, I think it's more of a example of his baser instincts, shall we say. I just like my idea better. Just, fair, just fair. drag the list. Because she's cold hearted. Alright, Anraj is trying to get something going here. Nice oh, time with go. the dive kick. Completely Didn't threw hard man off his game. What a oh, trade! Wow. Oh, and Anraj whiffs the big move. Hard man right there with the stand with the fierce to uh, crush counter. And yeah. That will do it. 2-0 for Hard Man as he moves on to loser's final. On to the next one. But good stuff tonight, Anraj. You definitely did yourself proud. Hey, top four is not bad. Nope. All right. So we need to bring an underscore. And while he's in the casual match, I should be able to change the lounge set. If you say pop, you're from the north, weirdos. I use them interchangeably. I just say soda. But down here, it's called Coke. Yeah, everything's Coke where you are. Because we created this shit, anyway. But it's not all Coke, though. Okay, let me tell you something. <laughs> Pepsi? What I'm about gonna it? get a lot of what about it? Hit me with your Pepsi facts. Okay, Pepsi to me tastes like a flatter version of Coke. I mean, it's probably not as, like, just, uh, was saccharin. Yeah, maybe. But am I wrong about the taste? I mean, I don't. A flatten is is something you apply to a thing that has like a lower carbonation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, I mean that that would vary from like batch to batch in the age of the product. I don't see how that's. I, I don't really feel that's indicative of the brand itself. 
Okay. Damn. So like, I'm... Kip Coon, Pepsi, Pepsi Fact One, not as good as Coke. <laughs> but like, I also drink like Caribbean like sodas, and those are my favorite types of sodas. Oh, dude! Like south of the south of the border, sodas are amazing, just from start to finish. Like, 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 actual sugar cane Coca Cola, like that stuff, mm -hmm. like, mmm, chef's kiss. Yeah, but you ever had something like Jamaican soda? No, because I live in Ohio. <laughs> so here's the thing: there's something called Jamaican soda that's from Jamaica, and like no. they have some. <laughs> it's like it's um no, that's the actual brand of the soda. It's called Jamaican. It's soda. just called Jamaican. That's even better. <laughs> that's and better than Red just... Stripe. <laughs> Yeah, like there's we, a flavor. We put a red stripe called... on this can. Guess what the beer is called? Red stripe. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, there's a flavor called champagne. I've been drinking this stuff since I was a kid. What? Oh, there's a flavor called champagne. Yo, 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 we nope. got. No, no, no. Sorry, we got a Luke. We got a Luke. We got a Luke. Everyone on high <laughs> alert. We got Luke. Huzzah! <laughs> so, yeah. Round one. I think you can just order it offline now. It's very possible. Okay, so we see Hard Man doing work right now. See, here's the thing. I'm not sure if... Well, see, yeah, here's the thing, right? Underscore, very early Luke. Luke, a very strong character in the meta right now. Uh, but, yeah. Um, hmm. Does I underscore have the time logged with him to beat Hardman's main? I don't. I think he might. He's doing a pretty decent job. He got that good cross up. That's that was clean. Yo! <laughs> All right, Hardman might be a little upset. Upset? Underscore might be upset. He just jabbed this man just to make sure he didn't do a move. Bam! Oh. oh. Oh, see? Yeah. Rapid see fire pocket sand. How sad, how mad do you have to be to do rapid fire fireball? When you have them loaded up in your arms like Big O, then not really. <laughs> oh, nice interrupt. Glad okay, Hardman's been paying attention to the matchup. Mm -hmm. Very clean, okay. He's like, this is too close to comfort. Oh, nice. Baited underscore with the pocket with the pocket sand came in over top. Can we just call it like what it is? A handful of sand. I mean, I would like to hope that he's not bringing actual sand into the MMA ring, but <laughs> Luke Shackleford. <laughs> His pocket sand. I'm just Ooh. All right. Okay. Got the e out. Oh, yes. that overhead came from a county block away. Nice back. Oh. Hard man unintentionally traps himself in the corner, but wins out the round with an air to air and takes game one. And I would not be surprised oh, if we saw a character swap out of underscore. It's like, a good idea, but I'm not sure if it's gonna pan out. He's like, what do you mean I accidentally put myself in the corner? <laughs> it was all according to Keikaku. No character switch. Okay. Underscore not desperate enough to swap off a Luke. Oh, DP. Damn. So yeah, More it's gonna fans. be Hardman's job to make him. Make me get off this character. Yeah, pretty much. Just grabbing away. It's working. Yeah, oh, I gotta say, underscore's oh, no. nailing these anti-airs. Okay. Nice throw. Yep. Oh. Makes him stay outside in the hailstorm. I tricked you. Bad dog. <laughs> Yo, oh. takes him off his feet with the EX Hailstorm start up. Yep. That's basically a layup. Like, like. <laughs> oh, got him. It's the shot you make when you want to embarrass the person you're, you're, you're playing against. You lose. You must have missed. Round two. Point. 
All right. Yeah, Underscore's got some thinking to do. Fueling up those yeah. arms. Which is, he's already got two out of the seven Dragon Balls stuffed in there. Oh, snap. That was nice. Yeah, he had that good read. Pop up and arm bar for stun. That could not have been executed any more cleanly. Like, that was mathematically perfect. He said, I dare you to hit button. I dare you to hit a button. And you die for yep. hitting buttons. <laughs> and that final overhead. Hardman doesn't usually take that thing out more than once or twice a match. Mm -mm. Let's see what happens. Are we gonna get character swap? Or well, no? I think we're gonna see Cammy. Maybe, Don't maybe. Play. Is she gonna be in her actual ah. uniform? Please put her in her uniform. The one that. I the am the great predictable. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're we'll probably see. You know what? Jill would be nice. Dark Light's right. Jill would be a nice uh, nice change. Who's Jill? Jill from Resident Evil. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no. She's a member of Stars. I don't care. <laughs> no, no, no. But yeah, Jill would be good. I'm kind of surprised Chris Redfield never... Uh, nobody ever got a costume for Chris in this game, did they? Mm. Or did they? Did Nash get Chris? Oh, I feel like somebody should have gotten Chris because they did Wesker and they did Jill. Uh, I don't know. If they didn't do it, it was a missed opportunity. There she go. Only, wait. Only Ada and Wesker? Who got? Oh, did Colleen get Ada? I feel like Colleen got Ada. Anyway. Oh, come on. <laughs> if you put pants on Cammy, it's weird. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to argue with you. It's just weird hearing it from somebody else. <laughs> 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 nice, good arm bar there. It's okay if I say it, but it's the yeah. truth. It's so, weird. Yeah. So here's the thing: Hardman's got a limited time to get you know, to basically take advantage of the of the the character fuzziness, right? Like the re-download of of, mm -hmm. of how Underscore plays his own character. Oh wow. Yeah, Never it is mind. cold in there. Never mind. You better hit something. Oh, you got the V trigger. Oh. Oh, V trigger bump. Oh. Never mind. Popping a little early. Went for the throw. Getting punished on the opposite side. Oh. Got hit by cannon strike. I'm kicking. Stand roundhouse. I didn't know we were playing dive, kick, and street fighter. That's Cammy's whole shabazz. Just. It, it, the joke went over. Cannon strike. Kick. Cannon oh, yeah. strike. I know what dive kick is. I'm streaming it for Frosties. <laughs> yeah. That is kind of funny that they did include some sort of like Cammy parody in that game, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice throw, but thrown the wrong way. Yep. You're supposed to keep him in the corner and away from it. Oh. Nice. So that actually works out. Cannon Strike, like, by itself is a single hit move. So hit him out of the air, hit him on the ground, no matter what, it's pretty pretty solid. Oh! Kind of like Zeta's um, Spear Argus. Sure! No, look, you can hit her on the ground, hit him from the air. <laughs> That's the only comparison I hit can Hit him in there everywhere. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice call out. You could go into more dive kick. Always more dive kick. All right, underscore starts taking it back. 
2-1 right now. Hard oh, man still with the advantage. Is reverse 2-0? Oh. Is this a reverse 3-0? It could be. It could very well be a reverse three zero. Uh huh. <sighs> and then that would see uh, underscore up against Hitman for the run back in grand finals. Uh huh. Or we get Hardman versus Hitman one more time. If he can beat underscore Sammy. Now, if he can do that, he's earned it. Oh, big crush counter there. Fortunately, nothing coming off of it. Fortunate for Hardman, anyway. Mm -hmm. All right, there's some damage. Just got to do that about a hundred more times. <laughs> yeah. All right, V-Trigger activation. Hardman is just waiting for, uh, sorry, under, uh, Underscore is just waiting for Hardman to come across the screen with, with the dash. There's it's one, like, I dare you, I one dare you to come at me. Thousand. Oh, and close enough like to punish that. with EX Spiral Arrow. You like, who gets reads like that? Oh. Wait. When thou art a warlord, thou hast seen some shit. <laughs> True, but like, god damn. Like, he was like, mmm. I dare you! I got some weird shit ready for you. Let's go! <laughs> Underscore is like, yo, I've been playing Wordle all day and I'm pumped. Let's go! Oh. Your ice is no longer welcome here. My brain power is maximum. Oh my god, this is. Ha! <laughs> like, yeah. throw to yeah. the ground. Oof. Wow, underscore keeping step with Hardman, even as he moves around, too. Not giving up positional advantage. We're playing a game. It's called Guess Where I'm Coming From. It's called You Don't Play. <laughs> <laughs> Guess which way I'm going to hit you. Let's go. That's oh, what that was up. awesome. Nice neutral jump. Bates the hit on Wake Up. He just needs to stun. He just needs to stun. There it is. Oh Dude. my god, Hardman able to turn that one around. Yeah. That was pretty good. This is base kick. <laughs> that was strong. This kick to the face a couple of times. Oh my god. Underscore getting a little peeved off. Underscore might want this perfect. Oh, he's not going to get it. The mental war has been won by Hardman. Yeah. Now all Hardman has to do is the hard work. Yeah. You have won the battle. Now you just gotta win this war. Oh, there you go. A blocked uh, spiral arrow is the perfect way for Hardman to get back into this. I got spikes on my hands to deal with it. <laughs> nope. You've never seen a manicure so cold. Ah. Hard man went for his usual hail setup, forgetting about uh, Underscore's V trigger completely. Whoop. Oh, wow. Oh, got the neutral punish, but drops it. Yo, going for it from there? Okay, that'll definitely tie up the life, but that's not. Whoa, it was so close. Oh. I would not be surprised if Hardman was expecting that to, to, to finish the job. Good back out. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. V, v shift, V shift, V shift. Just back up. Oh, neutral would have done up. it. Neutral would have punished it. Oh, oh. and Hardman just, just gets inside of Underscore's head enough to make him forget about blocking low on the dash. Woo! Clutch finished a game three, or sorry, a game four as Hardman takes the set. Three to one over underscore. It's go time. Woo -hoo. All right, that means Hardman goes up to grand finals versus Hitman.
Oh, I almost made XDSC for a minute. <laughs> Grand Finals. There we go. Hitman! There he is. <laughs> Hot shot grand finals. Meh. Dude, that just Sky, you just reminded me of Hot Shots Golf. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> that was a fun one. I don't know what it is. It was just a it was just a goofy cartoon golf game on the PS1. <laughs> See, Darklight knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, my age is definitely showing through this. You know, mm -hmm. so... Hey, no, nothing's I... stopping you from playing PlayStation 1 games. Well, nothing, but like at the same time, I don't like... The earliest PlayStation I remember was PlayStation 2. <laughs> they they did have sequels, you're right. You're right, Dark Light, they did. I never played oh, any of them. <laughs> Fight. You might not have been alive, says Dark Light. <laughs> uh, Alright. Well, folks, we made it. We're here at Grand Finals. We got Hitman oh, on the winner's side and Hardman on the losers. And that kind of looks like how this round is playing out. No offense. Um, but, uh, for those of you unfamiliar with the Grand Finals rule set, uh, Hardman, in order to, to unseat Hitman and become champion tonight, must win two, three out of five sets. Uh, meanwhile, Hitman only needs to win one of those two to clinch the title. Hitman is like, okay, time to speed run, let's go! Yep. Just die! <laughs> Late RTA, the RTA Grand Finals. Wow! Got We're hit with the raw that. devil reverse, what? He's like, I don't care if I get perfect or not, I just want you gone! And Hardman's like, no! Get out of my life! Thank you, you said his name. Thank you, hello, I'm, I'm here for the job interview, my name is Hardman, uh, Irving Hardman. Wow. <laughs> nice throw. <laughs> oh, see? Hardman's used to that teleport nonsense. And Hitman's like, I don't care if you're used to it. You're just going to eat it. Yeah, pretty eat much. It all. It's like, eat I know it. that you know. <laughs> I know that you know. Just eat it. <laughs> yeah, and now you know that I know that you know that I know. <laughs> But yeah, that is Hitman with 33.33 uh, repeating percent of the job done. Menacely walks up slowly. Yeah. <laughs> He's basically a JoJo character with no stand. <laughs> and the throw. Put you in the corner. Yo, that stand jab just keeping Hardman suppressed. That was nice. Hitman's willing to trade as long as he's got the life lead and he knows it'll keep him ahead. Mm -hmm. I thought Ooh. he was going to do it for a third time. Never mind. Bro. Just wake up hitting button. Yeah, good combination. Let's go back. Nope. Dodge the EX stuff. Hitman watching <laughs> his toes like he should. Can't say the same thing about Hardman, unfortunately. I was like, you got toes? Yeah, block them. <laughs> <laughs> Better put something up. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's stand HP from like a, a quarter mile away. <laughs> All right, hard man going on the throw offensive. We've seen this before. <laughs> got out. Yep. So yeah, Hitman is now in a good position to put pressure back on, on, sorry, Hitman's in a good position to put pressure back on Hardman. Hitman, Hardman's a good Hitman, to what? 
these Mega Man villains. Oh, nice. Oh, came up shy on the slide. Right the slide. Hard man didn't let him get away with that. Mid-air collision with the stomp. Uh, Got the follow-up even. Oh! Oh! Uh, Hitman saw that happen. Yeah, he must have. I think he was probably in an attack animation already. There was nothing he could do to get out of it. Okay. Oh, the mix-up. And went for the low. Yep. One more shot to the ankles is going to give Hitman game two. Bison win. Bison just over here like, yes, I am the dictator of Street Fighter. What you going to do about it? Also, this contract that I have to advertise Colgate is really working out. <laughs> like he's making money and... Hey, if I was running an international terror organization, I at least want to have clean teeth. <laughs> I want the straightest teeth. Give me the biggest, straightest, whitest teeth you have. It's like, sir, should they be different in size and shape or uh, like, you know, from each other at, at, at any point? No. <laughs> That would only confuse my opponents. <laughs> we don't do that here. Just give me just one of, uh, yeah, one of the same tooth 80 times on both top and bottom. Like which two, sir? <laughs> Whatever is closest to the size of two standard chiclets. <laughs> <laughs> We're just waiting. Alrighty. Swapping sides. Oh. I was like, okay, maybe I might have better on luck on this side. I mean, it's entirely possible. Mm -hmm. Round one. Although I would also suspect that at this level, that's probably not a huge hindrance to either one of them. Oh, nice counter. Oh. Okay, so right now, yep. Hitman doing Hitman things while Hardman's trying to do Hardman things with Ice Queen. Um, ice right now. Ice cream just getting in with her ice pulls. Ice While cream. Bison over here. Bison over here just trying to get break her soul. Not working so far. She's like I have no soul. Yep. So Hardman coming in low once again. Hitman didn't check the dash, but he sure as heck uh, weathered it and punished accordingly. Okay. Now right now. Bison oh. Just getting, oh, over here. Oh, oh look, that would have been probably round-ending damage if, the, if that had continued all through the animation. But Hitman's okay with it as he uses his fireball to bring Hardman to the floor. And he said, look, you have a soul. Told you. <laughs> Hardman just grinding away at Hitman's ankles. <laughs> It's like, yeah. you got some nice ankles. What would happen if I were to <laughs> break them? <laughs> I want all Paul Bunyan on your <laughs> on your ankle there, Bison. Okay, there's the cross-up. Hitman with the forward throw. Just Hitman just putting Oop. on all the pressure. He's like, I got this! Oh, wow. Oh. Hitman just shutting down Hardman's EX whatever. <laughs> Just going in. Oh, he yeah, tried something. That'll do it. He got around. Look at Hardman was trying. Oh, sorry, Hit looks like Hitman was trying to react on movement to like a lot of these dash hits from Koli. I'm not sure that's entirely feasible. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, nice. Good Just teleport under. Face nice grab again. Throw. Do it again. Do it again. Nope. nope. Touch your face. Nope. 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 Oh, no. Oh. Come uh, on. No counter to the double reverse that time. <gasps> Ooh. EX stomps. And oh, the just perfect taps her in the spine for the win. 
I think we might have seen a rage quit. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> but yeah, that'll do it. Uh, one life to play Hitman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's it, man. Taking grand finals. Uh, not dropping a game. Let's go finish this out and we can see how the final standings are. Well, so far, it's. We already know. Me at the top, of course. <laughs> First place, grand champion. Then I then I, I acknowledge Hitman as a as a as a close rival <laughs> and a good friend. It's really a Ryu Ken thing going on between us. And then Hardman is like our soccer. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Hardman, I'm kidding. Hardman, I'm kidding. <laughs> if you can tell when I hear Ryu Ken, who's Ken? All right. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. So, uh, first place, surprising nobody because you pretty much saw all of it. Uh, one life to play Hitman going 4-0 uh, tonight for first place. Very well done. Hard man, poor guy, had to play eight sets tonight and just this tournament alone. Uh, I believe it was also in the on online local, so whatever he played over there as well. Uh, but the man put in work tonight and... That uh, silver medal is the uh, either the the either the reward or the result. You tell me. <laughs> but well done. Uh, one of the strongest Colleen's out there. Hard man six and two tonight. Underscore uh, made a very bold choice in losers final to uh, go with uh, go with Luke for two games, and it was just enough of a lead at that point for Hard Man to snag the third crucial game, even though it looked like Cammy was trying to mount the comeback. Um, we've also got Cruel Anraj with Kage coming fourth place. Very nice, very nice. Uh, definitely making some surprise moves tonight. Sky647 ended up fifth. Uh, Gil was trying. He's always trying. Uh, Dark Zero. Dark Zero had an amazing night. Like, he was just he was kicking out some of these names, baby. Just like just making some crazy plays and just uh, doing it's just so good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Subliminal had some good stuff with his gill. Kaiba Sega Saturn was making people's faces melt with that Nash of his. Uh, Green Ranger 64. We didn't get to see too much of Green Ranger tonight, sad to say. But I'm just, um. you know, 0 2 is not the best look, but could have been really close 0 2s against very strong opponents. I don't know. We're not down there to the bottom yet for analysis. Ave! Ave made some crazy good plays today. Like, I think Ave took out uh, Anraj in round one. Mm -hmm. uh, or, yeah, in winner's round one. So, uh, props there. And uh, 151 came by. Thank you for being here, 151. Good seeing you. Ivor else showed up last minute, ended up going one and two. That's totally fine. Hornet, we didn't see you at all. Not sure what happened, but hope your evening was okay. Then, of course, our good buddy Weapon X. Uh, just couldn't catch a break on the Cody tonight. What can I say? But yeah, let's see. Okay, no. Ave did lose to Cruel Anraj in the first round, but it was really, really close. Like, it was really, really close. But then he beat Weapon X, then he beat... Uh, sorry, then he lost to Kaiba Sega Saturn. Nevertheless, you can see the, the, the results of his training for sure. And he's back and doing his homework now, so pretty soon he'll be too smart for fighting games anyway. <laughs> you can be too smart. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it for us tonight, folks. There was no Matcharino this evening, so don't worry. Nobody's uh, missing out on, on payment. We're keeping it light this week. I think only Guilty Gear is going to have a uh, prize pool. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you, except that uh, Frosty Faustings, if you're not following us now, you're definitely going to want to follow us during next weekend. 
Because we're going to have all this cool stuff down here. Minus the po uh, Pokemon. Wait, well, not Pokemon. Minus the Smash Brothers. Minus the Smash Brothers. We're not doing that. <laughs> Nothing against Smash, but that's, you know, it's not why we're there. <laughs> but yeah, big thanks to everybody who came through. Uh, Comrade Control gave us a follow. Thank you so much. CJ Plays Nooch also followed. Thank you there. Send toe pics 0906. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> Come on, Jim. Come on. Send toe no. pics. No. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I let you commentate on my stream. Please respond. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I appreciate that you let me commentate, but send toe pics. No. Uh, and uh, Soul Rabba gave us a raid earlier on. That was nice of him. Thank you so much. And of course, everybody out there in chat, all the participants tonight, you guys are all awesome. Thank you for watching Matchstick Melee. And uh, please continue to watch in the future. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, the same name for the HD quality VODs that we post there every week. Uh, we hit just the, had Street Fighter the... from last week come out today. We'll have Guilty Gear from last week come out on Wednesday. And Grand Blue Fantasy Versus from last Thursday out this Thursday with plenty of time to watch with uh, some time left over to tune in to the new stream. Yeah. Hit, hit the bell. Hit, hit, hit the bell. I mean, you can hit, hit the bell if you want to. It's, hit it. It, it, it's fine. But um, yeah, uh, everyone have a great night. Stay safe out there. Uh, get tested. Get vaxxed. It's all for the for the greater good, I promise. And yeah, see you at Frosties. Have a good week, everybody. Bye. Bye.